Hey, welcome to the busted ass garage today. Holy crap. That was a long day and we got in seven minutes before her appointment. Just barely made it. <sighs> Don't know why it took so long to get there, but it took forever to get there. Well, we've been to the doctor with Squirrel and back. Um, still a little concerned about her insulin numbers and uh, um, her thyroid level. Well, waiting for the results from today's test, so. Yeah. But anyway, we're going to stop and get something and we're going to go to the farm for a little bit. And I hate to tell you guys, I've called my doctor today begging, do something because this itching is back with a vengeance, so, yeah, so, all right. I just uh, went to talk to you guys, phone rang, well, it was the doctor's office. He finally looked at the message. I was at 10.30 this morning when I called him on the way back because I thought, well, if they wanted me. But I didn't hear nothing. We made it home before anybody called us, so. Yeah, um, geez. I'm getting spacey, I've been, got up at 4 a.m. this morning to be on the road, and today, for some reason, it just seemed to take too long to get there, and we walked in with about six minutes to spare, a lot of these doctor's offices are going, if you don't make it there at your scheduled time, they want you to come back, I'm like, uh-uh. But anyway, uh, yep, she uh, got told by them that got to cut the proportions down, which I knew that. I've been trying to work on her and myself and well, everybody in the house. And uh, uh, let's see, it looks like somebody wants to talk to me. This is the thing about living out here in the country. I mean, you pull over on the gravel road, you talk a little bit, then you go again. Uh, I don't know how much more we get done on the truck. I'm heading out here. I'm like, I need out of the house. I need away. I got to get away because it seems like I get out to the shop. I don't itch near as bad. I just really hope it ain't our house doing it. Because I don't know if I said anything. We found uh, oh, our house construction work started because we had black mold in the back of the house. And everybody was getting the colds and getting sick and everything all the time. Well, I got the back of the house removed. We got it sealed up and that first year after that, everybody cleared up, no more colds. No, I mean, squirrel missed 26 days of school one year from being sick. Got rid of that, she went down the missing two or three days. So it was a big improvement. Now everybody's getting sick and everything again. Uh, we thought it was dust, dirt, and the wife went to wipe it up and she goes, um, she found a new spot of black mold on the opposite side of the house where the problem was. I'm like, you gotta be kidding. So, I hope that ain't my whole issue is, uh, and it's close to our bed, which could explain, but, uh, wife I'm like you know you guys are getting on me about itching and wiggling around and squirming but holy cow guys this today I mean I got back I said dear she wanted to put calamine lotion on I said well save your lotion because I can't take it I can't wait that long uh, I had to get in the shower now and run that hot water over me to get calm down so it's no fun and the youngest squirrel's kind of getting on me like, well, Dad, knock it. All right, so now, I, I'd love to. But anyway, we're out here, and uh, we had some rains. We missed out on the storms that come through. Uh, but it don't sound like we're going to miss out on tomorrow, Tuesday. They're talking uh, severe storms. And some of you guys are telling me you guys are getting snow in Alberta, Canada already. 
Oh boy, this is going to be a long winter, ain't it? Uh, uh, what is what have we done to our um, weather cycle to screw our system up? Because something's had to change somewhere. Because our weather system that we got right now are it, it's messed up. Ooh, looking at the apple tree. I know I'm changing shelves. It's just a, maybe I have ADD or whatever age. I don't, one of those. Uh, there are some apples. My wife asked me, says, where's the apples from the tree this year? Because, oh, God, she makes a mean apple crisp with that. And she'll make it, freeze it, and we'll thaw it out during the winter. And, oh, yeah, good good treat. But, um, so, yeah, got to work on the young, well, got to work on all of us when we cook stuff. Start decreasing Like, oh, uh, you make macaroni and cheese. So instead of making the two boxes for the four of us, we got to go to making one box and split it three ways. And that would be more appropriate for what the box of. And she's like, no. It's all a learning process and it's going to take time. And like they said down there, it's not going to happen overnight. Don't stress yourself about that. And. <sighs> Anyway, I'm starting to blab too long, so let's get in there and see what we can do. Okay, guys, I've been doing a little work here. I got the AC the rest of the way out, out of the way. We had uh, that stud there, bolt here, and two bolts down there. And the AC flops up over here. This, I'm like, God, why? I remember when I worked on this pickup, pickup like this before. Like I said, I want to do both head gaskets. Uh, they look like those cheap head gaskets. And I'm like, why did I buy that pulley puller? I finally remembered. See, right there, there is a bolt in this aluminum bracket. And the only way that you get to it is GM did not put an access hole we got to go through and pull that pulley off. Then we can get to the bolts and drop the power steering pump down out of the way. Then we can get that bolt and take this bracket off. So I got to find my power steering puller, pump, pulley pull. Yeah, I made a video about it. It wasn't the greatest, but on this truck, we'll get the show taken apart and putting them back together. Yay, me! But anyway, um, so yeah, I'm going to get the alternator knocked off and out of the way. Could leave it. Actually, actually, I think I'll just, no, I got to undo that anyway. Yeah, we'll get her, but uh, I don't know how far we'll get tonight, but uh, I'll tell you also, I know you guys have told you that I... My left arm yesterday, all I could get my left arm to do is just hang down here. Today I can I can get it up to my chin and that. But yesterday I couldn't move that damn thing to save my ass. So well, I'll find that puller and I'll show you guys pulling again, because that video has been a long time ago. And um Yeah. Oh and hey, before I forget it. Thanks for that shout out there, 73 Shakes. So, finally got to watch your video all the way through and I seen where you did that. So, thank you very much. But anyway, uh, I'll find that polar and we'll get that pulled. Hopefully, I got you recording. I got her set up. I'm using uh, an ATD kit here and I've already got it set up. Got everything found. I'm trying to keep uh, to pulley and uh, puller and installer set. Since so ATD, uh, trying to save some time so this don't take so long. And the camera is okay. So basically, you just hold it. I've got the collar hooked on there and the puller on it, and you hold it and. Uh, Just 
just sitting here. And I need a wrench that ain't wore out. Wait a second. I'm trying to do this truck repair in real time to show you. And Mike, I just remembered if you got the driver's side problem with your truck, you're going to have to go through this too. I just remembered that. Let's see if this wrench holds. So yeah, Mike, uh, if I, uh, if your head gasket's out on your driver's side, and I think you said your truck was a 92, yeah, you're gonna have to do what I'm doing right now to uh, get the, actually, you know what? That's what we wanted to hear. Just broke loose and it moved. Since I already had this motor out, it shouldn't be that bad to do. I can hold with my left arm, but it was starting to hurt to pull with it. So. That's where these engineers that make these cars should have to work on them. But she thinks we get done different. Kind of sucks being one arm right now. I know I did a video on this with the 97 React, but, uh, um, on this truck, we'll get the show, the install going back in because then you put a threaded stud on and then you sit here and do the reverse. And if GM would have been smart, it just puts you an access hole in the pulley. And some of you are like, I just drill a hole. Well, you go take the metal out of your pulley and you don't balance it, the pulley's going to be out of whack. So. And you'd have to have it off the vehicle to do that anyway, so it's... This is one way they secured the job. The only thing i got to complain about with this portion I've got, I'll show you here in a second. Ouch. It's the retaining collar that holds the clamp here. that I had before had lips so I just didn't fall all the way. I mean it held it in place. It does the job for that just proves what you pay for. Oh come on. Ouch. And then that then you put the smooth shaft in there. And then when I go to put that on I'll blow those threads out, clean them out. And there you go. So there is one power steering pulley removed. I don't know you guys can't see me right now, but I'm just putting it back. Having a nice toolbox to put your tools away at night, I'm getting better at putting tools away when I'm done working. Not leaving such a mess around. It does two things. 
makes you feel like coming into work because you ain't got a mess. Another thing is, is make sure you didn't leave nothing on the car. Or truck or whatever. So I know on this farm there's a lot of tools. And another no, I know of another farmer I'd like to go over with a metal detector because they've got snap on laying all over the farm. Literally. So, well, let's see. Now I'm down to... Uh, I could take those three bolts out. Well, well okay, I'll just finish showing you what you got to do. I mean, like I said, we're doing this in real time. Sorry for the long videos, but most of you have weighed in and said you prefer a long video to <coughs> short video, but I'll try and keep it mixed up between the uh, yeah, and some days I don't care for a long video myself, but hey, it all comes with the territory. And all this work is just to get that one bolt right there, so you can get this bracket off. Need rest screen, sorry about that. I was going to try to shut the phone off. And... Okay, we got two bolts left. Oh, that's right. Yep, somebody put that one on. Ouch! Ooh. Thank God I had gloves on. I know a couple of you guys are out there going, Would you stop hurting yourself? Well, it's just part of being a mechanic. Stuff, let's go. If you ain't got a hole, right. well, I'm doing that with my left arm too. Yeah, they come apart really fast, but today I'm. <laughs> I, oh, sure, I fall right under the oil too. I'm moving kind of slow today. Oh, what? I didn't put that in there? No, they don't. Oh, that's why. Okay. Cool. It fell down because I got the bracket undone. Cool. Just taught myself something about doing this. And so I don't lose the bolts. I'll just screw them right in there. I had the bracket on done. Hey! This old dog just saw him a new trick with this truck. So we need to go on. Yeah, old dog, alright. Uh huh. Come on. Now one more I didn't want to screw. Oops. Not knock you guys for a ride either. I got you hung right here, kind of in a. You can stay right there for now. And like I said, this was all to do. A brand new wrench just got broken. Wow. 
my squirrel, she's like, Dad, why are you using the new tools? I'm like, that's what we bought them for, sweetie. We didn't buy them to have them just look at. We bought them to use, girl. And she's like, but Dad. I'm like, my daughter. So, she's quite a character about tools. is bolt that was after. I got a little it's okay. Manifolds. Yay! Uh, well, there you have it. Now we are down to where this fat bear's got to go under a vehicle, and I don't think that's going to happen today. Um, Oops, that was still focusing. I should just do this. But, uh, okay. Well, I'll get you guys off the stand and we'll go from there. But, uh, all right. All right. We're going to zoom in. I can see that is not a Felpro head gasket. That is one of those cheap made freaking head gaskets. I don't know why these manufacturers of these rebuilt motors do that, but uh, yeah. So, well, I guess I got more I could do yet, I just realized. Oops, sorry. I can go ahead and take all the push rods out and everything. And I can hear it right now. Out of all the years I've worked on a motor, uh, unless it's something real special, but a stock motor like this, I just take the rocker arms off, throw them in the thing, the basket, and just, I don't keep track of where they came from. I used to, but it ended up being a lot of waste of time. I started, because when I, now when I put these push rods back in, I'll flip them end over end, I'll show you where they wear anyway. I just flip them over. So then you're changing where everything was anyhow. And uh, I, I never had any trouble, so. But anyway, I guess. One of these do Sears lights thing dying, because too damn handy. But uh, anyway, uh, I'll have to see how I feel here in a few minutes. Then I'll get this other valve cover off, get all the rocker arms off, push rods out so they can start soaking. And, uh, yeah. And another thing I might do here after I got all that stuff out and the heads off, and you know that rust I'm worried about on the surface in here? Um, I'll depend on what we find. I ain't even plan that far ahead. I got an idea. And, uh, We'd have to just see, so. Um, and if it ends up being that we got to pull it, we'll pull it, because once we get the exhaust manifolds off, all it is is some torque converter bolts and 
two motor mounts and I can yank this thing and like I said this truck here is the one that I'm kind of planning on fixing to keep get her run and see how it does and uh, this might be re be my replacement truck so because another one of you out there to talk to says yeah your training went out in your truck and uh, you went looking at trucks you said there's no way in hell you're going to buy a new truck or a new or used truck and that's what's going to happen we're going to I think we're going to come to a day where we're going to make more cars than what we can physically use but, well, I know this video is starting to get long, and I'm trying to keep them short, but I, I'm trying to show all the work to go. So, Mike, my friend, buddy, here's what you got to do. And you know, if I had a tra in my enclosed trailer, I'd load up my tools and that. I'd go on the road, start fixing stuff. <laughs> I mean, hey, why not? So, all right. Well, guys, I don't think I'm going to get much more done. I am shot. I am so far out of it that, uh, wow. I'm that, I'm that freaking beat right. I sure hope the doctor find out what's, uh, what's going on with me, but, uh, nah, I'm just done I can't go no more because if I lay on the floor I know what's going to happen I just sit down here to cool off not that it's really hot or anything it just I sat down and well, my neighbors made, made it in he finally yelled at me I think I was scaring the shit out of him because he's like hey you okay I'm like, oh hey hi so, so I guess I fell asleep so anyway uh I won't be going to work tomorrow because I got a doctor's appointment and that's so uh, one more shot of it. I know another hour or so I'd have the heads off this and then I could get them cleaned up and checked, but I just can't do it today, so and if I get this up early enough and it's there, I may not be online tonight. I'm might just say the hell with it and I'm gonna go to bed, so but anyway, I guess uh, this is part two of uh, removing some brackets off the front and using that puller to get the power steering pump apart. So, anyway, I guess we'll talk to you later. Y'all stay safe out there. See you guys.